Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the chemicals, the poisons, and the toxins that's in the food supply, and the and the pharmaceutical drugs that's in the water supply, and how many Americans are hooked on pharmaceutical drugs. And they take these drugs every day. Heart medication drugs. High blood pressure drugs. High cholesterol pressure drugs. Antidepressant drugs. Painkillers. Guys, up to 150 million Americans are taking a drug every day and you know every drug has side effects these side effects can range from nausea headaches arthritis joint pain nightmares homicidal thoughts suicidal thoughts Heart attacks, strokes. So that's what the, the pharmaceutical company want everybody on drugs in this country. And within the next 10 to 20 years, everybody will be on drugs in this country. That's why I made a video saying this is a country full of drug, drug addicts. And I'm going to read this book right here. And I'm going to do a, re a re review on this book right here. It says, Exposing the Dangers within the pharmaceutical and agricultural industries. Because they are literally putting drugs in the food. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys, here we go. According to a 2024 Health Policy Institute at Georgetown University report, 66% of U.S. adults or more than 131 million people take prescription drugs. However, the percentage of people who use prescri prescription drugs varies by age and gender. So they have everybody on drugs, even children. Ages 0 to 11 use prescription drugs in the past 30 days. See guys, so that's what I'm saying. They want everybody on drugs. And these drugs, some of these drugs have, um, cause... Um, psychotic reactions, hallucinations, hysteria, delirium, all kind of problems. You know, so your objective in life really is to be should, to be get off of the matrix pharmaceutical drug supply. You're already smoking cigarettes and drinking alcohol. Now you're taking drugs every day. You know why you're taking drugs? Because the environment is toxic and the food is toxic. They're making you sick. What other reason would you have to take drugs? If there, if there wasn't something wrong with the environment. If there wasn't something wrong with the drug and the drinking water. Hold on, guys. Here we go, guys. Even the drinking water. Researchers have found, researchers have detected all sorts of drugs in drinking water. From antibiotics to antidepressants and contraceptive drugs and on down the list. Preventable governments are also responsible for keeping drinking water drinkable and several have made efforts to monitor the levels of pharmaceuticals in the water. See? I mean, so the drugs, the drugs, it's in, it's in everyday water. Here we go. On water supply over a six year period, five pharmaceutical drugs were frequently found in detectable concentrations. The detected level of pharmaceuticals in the water sample was low when compared to the level of pesticides and other contaminants in the water. But it's still in there. You know, analysts of drinking water for opiates has revealed many different opiates containing drinking water sources, contaminating 
drinking water sources include morphine, codeine, norcodeine, and ethylene, denethyl, and fentanyl, methadone, tramadol, ketamine, and oxycodone. See, you see that? All these drugs? See? That's what I'm saying, guys. It's all over the place. These drugs are all over the place. Is there traces of drugs in water? Yes. And it's growing cause for concern. A nationwide study by the U.S. Geological Survey found that 80% of streams in the U.S. carry traces of pharmaceuticals. Range from antibiotics and contraceptives to painkillers and antidepressants. See, and animals got to drink this water. So that the whole planet is going to be contaminated. The whole planet is going to be on drugs, especially in the United States, specifically the United States, really. Because the United States is the, the standout from the world. You can call the United States a idiocratic idiosyncratic society idiosyncratic society hold on guys yeah idiosyncratic I was just make sure I was using the right word I mean that's that's what that's really what kind of you know United States it's a standout country of course we have freedoms but the country is is profit driven and it's going to destroy us mentally Psychologically, spiritually, and physically. Because everything's about capitalism. They're willing to sacrifice. They're, they're willing to scorch the earth just for money. And schemes and scams and illegal activity. The country was built off of, you know, off um illegally, illegal slavery and Bruce, you know, abuse and brutality. The Native Americans and, and you know and Mexicans. And they're not gonna stop. So guys. You got to understand, you, you you have a responsibility to take care of yourself. And once you have the knowledge to take care of yourself, you have a responsibility to, to, to implement that knowledge and spread that knowledge and in your life. You have, a, you have a responsibility for your children, for your grandchildren to not feed them garbage food from McDonald's and, 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 and pastries and cookies and donuts and all that garbage from these grocery stores and a whole bunch of candy and, and garbage. You know, most people most people diets consume consist of sugar and, and carbohydrates. You know, very little protein, very little vegetables, mostly sugars and carbohydrates, because people eat like children these days. French fries, hamburgers, hot dogs. You know, I made a video talking about that. As a matter of fact, hold on, guys. Here you go. Right here. I made a video talking about you know Americans' diets, and this is their diet. Like you got two or three hundred million people that's eating like this every day. Every day. This is their diet. This is the kind of stuff they eat every day. Why are they taking their drugs, drinking alcohol, and smoking cigarettes? And it's poison and it's toxin. So guys, make sure you download and deploy your anti-mindvirus software because these are programs that are running that's causing you to behave like this. Hold on, guys. That's causing you to behave like this, guys. So you have to debug and unplug from the matrix because you are under mind control the matrix the matrix you're under mind control guys and there are worms physical real life parasites and worms in your body that control your behavior and these worms and these parasites will, will, are in the food supply and you can look it up guys there are parasites that control the way you think and your behavior and the food that you eat and crave you craving these foods because because it's an addiction because of the parasites that's in your that's living in your body and your intestines and then the psychological manipulation and psychological mind control that the system is playing on most of Americans have you act this way and eat this way you know so if you eating if you eating death that's what you go that's what's gonna come out death in death out and you wonder why the violence is so bad in America death in death out Okay, guys, until next time, guys, keep your mind clean, keep your body clean, keep your car clean, keep your home clean, keep your diet clean, guys. Drink plenty of spring water. 
to flush out the toxins, the chemicals, and the poison that's in the food supply. Stop taking these pharmaceutical drugs, guys, if you don't absolutely have to. And they have you on these drugs for the, your whole, for the rest of your life. It's, uh, um, uh, high blood pressure drugs and, and cholesterol drugs, they want you to take them for the rest of your life. Because they claim you can't get off of them, but that's a lie. Okay, guys, until next time, guys. Contraband 777, I'm signing off. Now go and conquer yourself. Peace.